Now, a News Channel 3 special presentation. Earthquake, are you ready for the big one? Hello, I'm Ginger Jeffries. Thanks for joining us for our News Channel 3 special presentation. Earthquake, are you ready for the big one? Here in the Coachella Valley, we're no stranger to earthquakes. We're positioned right along the famous San Andreas Fault. In this simulation, produced by a supercomputer in San Diego, scientists think the next big one will begin near the Salton Sea and push northwest right through the Coachella Valley. There is no way to predict when that quake will strike or how big it's going to be. That's why News Channel 3 wants to help you and your family prepare right now. Since we live on the fault line, we have a front row seat when the big one hits. News Channel 3's Cheryl Kahn took a trip to the famous San Andreas Fault to show you if the quake is big enough, the damage could be extreme. It's the kind of scenery that makes California special. Steep canyons and gorges carved into endless hillsides. So quiet and peaceful now, none of this would even be here if it wasn't for some violent shaking miles below the Earth's surface millions of years ago. Earthquakes occur because of the way the Earth's crust is broken up into a series of plates. Those plates have been moving very slowly over the Earth's surface for millions of years. Two of the biggest, the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate, meet right here along the San Andreas Fault. And we're right on top of it right now? We're on top of it right now, yes. If there was a big earthquake right now, what would we feel? We would maybe fall to the ground if it was a magnitude 8.0 or greater. We would fall to the ground. The ground would shake that violently. Mark Farley owns a company that takes visitors on tours of the San Andreas Fault, ground zero for some very powerful and destructive earthquakes. It's kind of scary because we're sitting right on top of it. It's kind of creepy because like, it can move any second. On the tour, they learned that a fault is a continuous narrow break in the earth and in certain conditions it can cause an earthquake. Here's how it happens along the San Andreas Fault. The Pacific Plate, which is what Los Angeles sits on, is moving northwest. The North American or Continental Plate is moving southeast. So they're grinding past each other. They're moving past each other at the rate of about two inches a year, and that's average. The rock gets stuck as it's passing each other, and it builds up over time, and that's when we have an earthquake. The San Andreas Fault starts in Northern California and then winds all the way down to the Coachella Valley. You may have passed right over it, especially if you've ever driven on the 10 freeway just east of Indio. About 77,000 cars a day pass through here, and I guarantee 99% of the drivers that come this way don't realize that they're driving right over the fault. You can't see it because the fault is 10 to 20 miles below the Earth's surface. But if you look closely, you can see clear signs that it's down there. The surface was here. This was back here. This part was back here. In a single earthquake event, this shot out. Down in the Coachella Valley, it takes the form of fault gouge. Where you, That's where we can tell where the fault is, where all this uh, rock is ground up and pushed up. The clay material, the fault gouge. It is stunningly beautiful here, but that beauty comes at a price. Those who have experienced a major earthquake know exactly what that is and wonder just how soon we'll all be feeling the next big one. Cheryl Kahn, KESQ News Channel 3, on the San Andreas Fault.